If you think men do not get breast diseases, you're wrong. Think again. Hi, I'm Dr. Pragna Chigrupati Nara, a consultant breast specialist and an oncoplastic surgeon currently working in Hyderabad. Gynecomastia is the overgrowth of breast tissue in a man. It can be true gynecomastia or pseudogynecomastia. True gynecomastia is the overgrowth of glandular tissue, which is a component of the breast. Pseudogynecomastia is the overgrowth of fatty tissue in the breast. Around 24 to 65% of the men are affected with gynecomastia between the ages of 50 and 80. So what are the causes of gynecomastia? It can be either pathological or physiological. Physiologically, gynecomastia can affect the man either in his infancy, pubertal or adult life. Pathologically, the most common cause of gynecomastia is drug-induced gynecomastia. This can be either recreational or medicinal purposes, again selective ones. When there is an increase in the estrogen content in the body, for example in certain liver diseases, pathological tumors of the testes, or kidney diseases or thyroid issues, this can lead to gynecomastia as well. Identifying the cause of gynecomastia and treating it is the mainstay of management of this condition. Unfortunately, in around 50% of the cases, the underlying cause is not identified. There is a slightly high risk of male breast cancer with this condition. So, how do you manage this condition? Management of gynecomastia includes two steps, diagnosis and treatment. For diagnosis, you have to differentiate it from the other causes of enlargement of a breast which could be diffuse enlargement or a lump, such as lipomas, neurofibromas, lymphangiomas, dermoid cysts, etc. So once you've made a diagnosis, you have to try and elicit the history from the patient to try and find the offending factor. For example, if it's drug abuse, discontinue the drug. Alternatively, if this condition is affecting the quality of life, you may try certain hormonal management such as tamoxifen, raloxifen or clomiphene citrate. The last resort however is surgery which might include surgical excision of the entire mammary gland or liposuction. Sometimes that might be followed with excision of the excess tissue. You have to make sure that there is no underlying speck of cancer in this breast. You should however remember that medical management using anti-estrogen therapy or surgeries as the mainstay of management are only supposed to be offered if there is no reversible cause of gynecomastia found. I hope this clears all your doubts on gynecomastia. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on the contact details given below. Thank you and stay safe.